epi drips and epi pressers. There's just so many different ways that we can do it. I just dropped the vial back there, but we're gonna keep going because I've done like 15 edits of this. All right, so let's talk about taking that one milligram of epi and putting it either in a 100 milliliter bag or a one liter bag and how we could use that both ways. So one milligram into a 100 milliliter bag, that's the same thing as 1,000 micrograms in 100 milliliters, which bringing down even further is our concentration of 10 micrograms in a single ml. If we were to take that and put it, that one milligram into a one liter bag or 1,000 milliliters, Again, 1,000 micrograms and 1,000 milliliters. Gives our ultimate concentration of one microgram in a single milliliter. So for a push dose presser, we need to give two to, sorry, wrong again, 10 to 20 micrograms every two minutes. So if we're mixing that in a 100 milliliter bag, that means we need to give one to two milliliters of that. So if we have taken that and put that in that 100 milliliter bag to use as basically a multi-dose vial to pull our push dose presser out of one to two mLs every two minutes. If we're putting it in our one liter bag, that means 10 to 20 milliliters every two minutes for that push dose presser. Now, what about using these as a drip rather than using it for only a push dose presser? So with our, I keep dropping stuff. So with our one liter bag, uh, we will be using a 10 drop set just because there's much more volume. We kind of want it to go a little bit faster. So we would use that 10 drop set. So our 10 drop set, remember 10 drops equals one milliliter. And in that one milliliter, is one microgram. And then our dosing is two to 10 micrograms per minute for that drip. So we go out and do our math here, easy peasy, 100 drops per minute. Okay, and that's at 10 per minute. Or if we were going to be doing two per minute, it's a fifth less, so 20 drops Per minute. In the 100 milliliter bag, we're going to use a 60 drop set because it's more concentrated, kind of want it a little bit more controlled. So we would be doing our 60 drop set in one milliliter. And then per one milliliter was 10 mics. And again, if we're given that 10 mics per minute, we can even look at our units, numbers all cancel out. So that's 60 drops per minute at 10 per minute, or if we're doing a two per minute, that would be 12 drops per minute. So it just depends on what you're wanting to do, what resources you have, are they all capable of doing that? Yes, but does everybody carry 100 milliliter bags? Does everybody carry on one liter bags? Is your ultimate goal to be using that to mix for push dose pressers only? Or are you gonna be using that to eventually titrate, move in and bridge to a vaso ep or epi vasopressor drip? It really just comes down to what you want to use that for, but you just gotta know the concentrations, how to do the math, and it depends on your resources, and ultimately, follow your protocols.